Hi, welcome to EdTech Moment, where we take just a moment to show you how to quickly integrate technology into your classroom. EdTech Moment is brought to you by Audible.com. Visit audibletrial.com slash edtechmoment for your free 30-day trial access to over 100,000 different audiobooks. Awesome website, and it's a great way to support EdTech Moment. This is episode number 29. We're taking a look at how to get free stock images. We'll be using compfight.com. If you're ever looking for excellent artwork, or I'm sorry, excellent images for newsletters, for presentations, or for videos, Compfight is the place to go to get free licensed images. Let's take a look. My favorite place to find stock images for free is compfight.com. Compfight actually searches Flickr, so if you're familiar with Flickr, I just like the interface much better on Compfight. You can see there's all this stuff going on. It's more about finding good images and not about sharing. So I'm going to go for Kindergarten Standard Canyon, and let's search and see what that comes up with. You can see we have 100,000 images. By default, it's going to give you any license, but we don't want that. If we click on Creative Commons license, we still have plenty to choose from, and most importantly, we have permission to use it. As a side benefit, because we have permission, we're allowed to use the high-res version. So these are going to be just really high quality, and we're allowed to use them. So if you're using this for a slideshow, you can give credit to people at the very end of that slideshow or of that movie. Now that I have all of these images, these are all the ones I have to choose from. On the far right, this is actually an ad, so ignore the far right column. If I command click, PC people, control click, it's going to just open it in a new tab behind it. So I'm going to just command click on several of these images that look fantastic. So now in all these other tabs, I have all these other images. So it looks fantastic. If I want to download these, I don't want to save it here, and I do not want to just right-click, Apple people control-click, and save. What I actually want to do, once I'm at Flickr, is go to Actions, and then All Sizes. Now this one actually is a really small one, so I don't want that. Let's try this. Here's another image. Again, we're on Flickr. Let's go to Actions, All Sizes, and you can see that this one's nice and big. If I right click on it, I can save that image and we'll call it Canyon Design. And I'll just save it on the desktop for now. And close that. Let's look at the next image. Fantastic. Actions, all sizes. And let's save the original. Right click, save the image on the desktop. Canyon, maybe wide. Just close that. Here's another great one, all sizes, another great image, let's save that, oops. I can also drag this to desktop if you prefer. Now if I don't like some of these, or find that I already have that one, I can just close it. Let's do one more for you, actions, all sizes. Now this one's really big, I only need the large for most of what I'm going to do. So we'll stay on large, save the image as Canyon, and that's a slow shutter. Now if I come back here, if I'm going to give credit, it shows me who actually took the photo. So I can look at Tom's profile, figure out who this is, and in my credits I would say Tom Gill. So you might want to have just a, a text document open, paste in all the people so you can give them proper credit. So Compfight is by far my favorite way to find high quality stock images that you're allowed to use. Visit us at edtechmoment.com for this and many other edtech resources and tutorials. Again, you can visit audibletrial.com slash edtechmoment for your free 30-day trial to 100,000 audiobooks. You can always tweet at us if you have a question, comment, or suggestion for a future show. We are at edtechmoment. You can email us feedback at edtechmoment.com. You can also email me. I am bill at edtechmoment.com. Thanks for taking just a moment.